Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss another late code hard problem. The problem name is market analysis. Very interesting problem. I think many concepts you will learn in this problem. Uh, analytical functions we will use. We will use different kinds of join, uh, join, left join. We will use filters. So very interesting problem. And we will break it step by step and see how we can achieve it. So let's understand the problem first. Okay. So the problem is this. So we have an e-commerce website, let's say, and they have the orders. So they have six orders in this table. So in the orders, we have order ID, order date, item ID, buyer ID and seller ID. So we have buyers and sellers. So we have ID of both. And these IDs are different to the user ID of users table. So we have three tables if you see orders, users, items. So in user ID, we have user ID one, two, three, four, and it is referring to buyer ID and seller ID both. Fair enough. For example, seller ID 2 is this, this user and each user has a, each seller has a favorite brand. So for example, for user ID 1, their favorite brand is Lenovo, right? So there is another seller 2, their favorite brand is Samsung. So one seller can have multiple brands selling, but one of them is their favorite brand and it is listed in the user's table. Okay. And in the order table, we have item ID and for item ID, we have this table to refer item ID one, two, three, four, and we have item brands. So item ID, item ID four, the brand is HP, right? So this is how these three tables are connected. Let's understand the question now. So the question is right and sequel to find for each seller, whether the brand of the second item they sold is their favorite brand or not. Okay. If a seller sold then less than two items, report the answer for that seller as no. So what they are saying for each seller, see what is the second item they have sold. Okay. So they have sold multiple items on multiple date, but what is the second item that they have sold? Okay. And if that second item, is it same as their favorite brand? Right. For example, let's say one example, seller ID two. Okay. First item they sold is this one. Second item they sold is this one. This is on first and this is on fourth. Second item they sold is item ID one, right? So item ID one is what? Samsung, right? And seller ID two is what? Favorite brand Samsung. So in this case, in this case, yes. This, this seller, seller ID two sold their second product same as their favorite brand. I hope question is clear. So the output will be in this form e seller ID and second favorite brand. Is it second item? Whatever they sold is favorite brand or not. So we get yes, no. Okay. And there's one more condition. If a sold, uh, seller sold less than two items. So we are looking at the second item, right? So if they have sold less than two items, then the output will be no, right? Because they have not sold second item at all. Okay. okay. So let's start. So let's see how we can approach the problem. So here, if you see the problem talks about the second order of a seller, right? So what we will do first, we will filter all the second orders for each, the sell, each seller, right? We don't care about other orders. We will just see the second, second uh, order sold by the each seller. So we will jump onto the orders table, select star from orders and I will take rank over partition by right partition by because I need for each seller seller ID order by order date ascending right because I need to have second order so I will take it as RN okay then I will use it as with RNK orders, let's say I will alias it. So this I created a CT. Now what I'm going to do, give me select star from RNK underscore orders where RN equal to two. So for each seller, I will get a rank and the first order will get rank one. And second order will get rank two for each seller individually because I am partitioning on seller ID. 
so what i will get i will get the second order of each seller so if i run this i got the for each seller two three four i got the second order right for first seller there is no data if you see if we go back to the table let start from orders you see seller id one is not there not at all so we got this i hope so far it's clear so for each seller we got the second order now what we have to see is the second order whatever item they are selling is it same as their favorite brand or not so for that first we need brand of the item right so we have the item table i will do is that aro here join items i on i dot item id equal to aro dot item id and what i will get i will get brand item brand right so i go back to the items table i joined on the item id and i get the item brand so i will put it as aro dot star comma i dot item underscore brand right so hope is it is clear so we got the item brand we got the item brand now next what we need we need the favorite brand of each seller so for that i need to join with the users table because in the users table i have favorite brand of each seller so users you on aro dot seller id equal to u dot user underscore id okay. and here i will get from users table u dot favorite brand if i go back here users table we have favorite brand right so i joined on user id seller id i joined with user id i will get the favorite brand I will run this again. Okay, so I got item brand. Whatever. So first I got the second order. You see, R and two for each seller. Seller two, three, four. One is not there at all. Okay, I got the second order. Then I got the item brand by joining item ID with the item table. I got the item brand, and then by joining seller ID with the user table, I got the seller's favorite brand. now if you see for these two seller it is same and for this it is not same so i can simply do a comparison and get it that it is same or no or i will populate it as yes or no so i can just do here is when equal to this then yes else no And as I will alias it as uh, second item favorite brand, yes or no? Okay. So let me run it now. Hmm. Syntax other. Okay, I think I cannot take numeric uh, numeric value as the column name, so that's fine. Okay, so I got that user ID two and user ID, I mean seller ID two and seller ID item second item is favorite brand. Yes, yes, and for that we got no. But there is one problem now, which is very important. What they are saying. they are saying if a seller sold less than two items report the answer for that seller as no so for the seller one right seller one hasn't sold anything so seller one hasn't sold anything right if you see order table this is very important thing in this question if you see there is no item sold by seller one but we have to report in the output that no right because it has sold less than two items So in this case, what we have to do, we need all the data from users table, right? Irrespective, 
it has sold or not which means i need to use this table as left table so that all the records will come from this table right otherwise user 1 will never come seller id 1 will never come right so in this case i will use users table as driving table so now what i am going to do is i will take users here okay users u and i am going to do inner join with this i will do left join because i need everything from the users table right left join this on same condition okay and this also i will do left join for now and that's it i will remove it and i will filter this also for now rank equal to 2 i will tell you why i am doing it okay let me run it now okay so if you see for the user id 1 uh, because we need to get the user id now so u dot user underscore id i hope this is not confusing okay so we got user id now right so for one if you see they there are no do uh, nothing we sold right so for this user we have to report it as no right and it is coming as no now right because item brand null is not equal to lenovo favorite brand is lenovo but it has not sold anything right so that's why it is coming like that now the problem is if i do rank equal to 2 so rank equal to rank is coming as null so if i do rank equal to 2 this record will go off right that record again went it didn't solve my purpose so what i have to do instead of putting in where rank i have to put here and rank equal to 2 so what is the difference the difference is it will filter the records with rank equal to 2 and then join do a left join with users table in this case there won't be any issue so if i see now if you see we got the four records now right and i need only first column and the last column so what i will do so if you see seller id and user id are same 2 3 4 and for that nothing is there so in this uh, final i will say, say u dot user id as seller id and uh, uh, the last column that's it we don't need anything else so if i run this we will get the answer So we got four four output seller ID and item favorite brand for the first seller it is no second third yes and the fourth one no. So very important here very important to understand the why we use left join why we have to use users table first right. So this becomes very important questions if you understand this question then I think you will solve many of the questions because it is covering many many concepts. Also I will put in the description box. everything the insert script create script you can just directly do it and try yourself hope it is clear let me know if you want me to uh, make this video again thanks for watching and do hit the like button thank you